back in the wonderful land of Mertana, so about those shy deer, well, I'm going to give up with that because apparently these shy deer here, and we killed a few, I think four, I think there's five, six total, five to six, which means one or two left from what I understand. When they run off, they don't come back to their original area, so they could be anywhere. I read two cases, one player said they found one near Gotha, and another player said they found one near Faring. I'm not going to hunt for shy deer because, like I said, it could be anywhere. This snake is being all twitchy and stuff. That's a little odd. How you doing? You doing all right? It's too bad it's not hostile because then I can say, how about you, snake? But either way... We're going to not go after the Shy Deer. It could be anywhere. If we run across it, great. Then that way we'll finish that one quest here in Ardea. That's not Ardea. This is Ardea. Kill the Shy Deer. But if we don't, that's just one quest that we'll miss. So hopefully we'll run across it as we just play naturally. So, welcome back. This is more Gothic 3. We got some quests to do. Um... I'm not going to do those. That's Cape Dunn. Montera, how loyal are the orcs mercenaries? That needs to be done. York needs old weapons. 20 bundles, which I don't have a whole lot, do I? I've got six bundles of weapons. We're almost level 50. That's good. So I think next we're going to go to... Uh, oh, Carl needs more people. So I want to do quests in... For the rebels that doesn't conflict with orcs because we got to wrap up this and then we got to go to Verant. got a lot of stuff to do in Verant. this game doesn't seem to ever want to end does it I only play like three hours a week so I think bless you nameless we're gonna go to Okar next which means I got to figure out who we need to send to Okar so in the next bit hopefully I'll find the guy Okay, it's taken me quite a bit to find this guy. It took me a good eight minutes or so going online, trying to find his location, going through forums, and there were text descriptions, so I ended up finding a YouTube video. Hopefully this is the right place. Speaking of which... Not speaking of which, I need to make a new save. Just in case I mess something up and I have to restart this entire playthrough all over again. Ah, uh, finally, some action. Away from the shy deer, and onto better pastures. I don't think we were here. This is news. More snakes, or rather a snake. He's thankfully friendly, he won't bother us. Yeah, this chest is... has been unlooted, so let's loot it. Bison fur... You know what, we gotta sell a lot of fur to... the hunters here in Martana. I gotta remember to do that. Chest, open for me, please. Water. We'll take it. I wonder who's in here. I hope the guy is in here. Not gonna spoil who the guy is. It's a skeleton here, two of them. Chillin', they got weapons that they're holding on to, which didn't help them out, unfortunately. Jump over that gravestone. Ah, this is the guy. And his name is... Rackus. I'm gonna save. He's pretty lived in here, too. Psst. Are you crazy? Don't be so loud. Do you want to wake the dead? Since when does a little noise wake the dead? Well, normally it doesn't. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I was experimenting with a bit of ancient magic. Really? Yes, and I'm afraid I rather lost control of the whole thing. And now I'm trapped in this cave. You're a former fire mage? Yes, I used to be. Just like the others of my rank. But without our rune magic, we are nothing more than shadows of our former selves these days. I must take an important discovery I made in this cave to the monastery in Norma. Hey, we were there. And we still need to give that one guy 
mana plants. I gotta remember to loot those and buy those. Tell me, what have you done? I have assimilated the dark magical arts of the ancient ones. I wanted to learn to summon the undead, and I have almost achieved my goal. Except for one small detail. What went wrong with your experiment? I allowed myself to become involved with the spawn of hell. And now, I am a part of them. I am now a prisoner of my own folly. If I attempt to leave this cave, the dead will stop me. We'll get him out of here later. Tell me about your discovery. It is a fire chalice. Ah. It is extremely important that it be brought to my brethren in Nordmar. But as you see, I have one or two small problems to deal with here first. Yes, yes, the undead. Show me your goods. All right, he's got some stuff. Got any mana plants? Got two. We'll take that. Take your vials as well. And we don't need any more potions, I don't believe. We will leave those alone. There you go. And I guess we'll... Sell some stuff to him. Because he's got some gold that we could use. I don't remember picking up this halberd. This blue halberd. But he can have that. We got a lot of blade staffs as well. That. That. How much gold do you have, gold do you have there? Um... We sell one more thing. This barbarian battle axe is worth 10,000 gold. Nice. We could definitely use the gold. You think a fire mage would have no use for these weapons, but... Oh, well. Let's actually do it like this. There we go. There we go. Now we have 214,000 pieces of gold. We got more conversation stuff to do with him. I just want to say before continuing. I'll get you out of here. Oh, do you think you can do that? We'll see. Oh, all right. I will try. But you must cover my back. Right? The rebels in Okara could use your help. The royalists need me, you say? Hmm. Rockus the fire mage should go to Okara. Yeah, we need that uh, fire chalice as well. Um, what did say, run? Run, old man. He knows preserve us. Here they come already. I guess they're just gonna spawn, and yeah, they just spawn in when you do that. There must be a nest around here somewhere. How about you, skellies and zombies? Awakened zombie, new name. I thought he died, too. Well, he's already dead, but you know what I mean. That didn't work out too well, either. Well, we took care of, like, hundreds of skeletons in Nordmar, so these skeletons and zombies should be... fairly simple. I'm assuming Rakus has a lot of health, because I'm not even watching over him. I hate those beasts. Yeah, me too. Let's loot everything here before we... continue onwards. Okay, there we go. Let's eat some food. Right, run, Forest, run. Run, Rackus, run. Guess I just talk to him. Ah, done. I am outside. Oh, you must destroy the rest of this spawn as well. If you don't, they will pursue me everywhere. Do you hear? Yeah, we'll take care of that. Kill the undead that Rakus summoned. I think Zardas would shake his head at this guy. He's like, oh, what an amateur. I guess he's not going to go yet because he decided to have a little smoke break. What's with these mages and smoking? Well, I would assume a fire mage would know a thing or two about smoking. Let's go back inside. Before we do what he wants, I'm going to go ahead and loot his uh, home. See what he's got in here. Still hoping for 
that pure ore blueprint. Got a ring of combat. We don't need that. We have that, I believe. Yeah, we have a ring of combat. We'll take it, though. We'll take all these, because why not? And I forget what the other ring said. This is a lectern, which says nothing on it. I already know that. You know, I should probably stop clicking on these things. They don't... They don't tell us anything. Got some books. Yeah, he's pretty lived in here. Very lived in. Alright, let's go take care of those undead beasts. That's you. Yeah, these skeletons are much easier than the ones in Nordmar. Last one. How the heck did he cheap shot me like that? Ah, oh, these enemies. Anyways, got a shrine of Beliar here as well. We don't need to do anything with it, I don't think. Let me just click on it just in case. Beliar. I like the way he says Beliar. He's like in awe or something like that. Grant me power over death and destruction. Just a bunch of spells here that we don't need. Life force, magic power, endurance. Grant me power over spirit and body. Terror, poison, lightning bolt, transfer disease, and fog. Don't need those. Just nothing in there. Just little knickknacks, and that's it. Not as bad as a Nordmarian tomb. And this cave is all over and done with, so let's just go back to Rakus. No, he could have helped us, but oh well. Your undead will no longer prevent anyone from doing anything. Oh, thank you, most we did. I swear that I will never again make such a grave mistake. Thank you, stranger. Oh, take this from me. Thousand gold pieces. Nice. I will take your fire chalice to the monastery in Nordmar. Yes. Here, take the chalice. I am too weak to travel to the Icy North. I hope that you are strong enough to do so. It was a struggle up there, but we, uh... We didn't make it last time. Okara isn't far from here. I have heard of it. I don't think you need to guide me. You have done enough for me. Don't worry. I will find Okara. Once again. Thank you for your help. Enos be with you. And may Beliar be with you because you didn't do a good job summoning those undead beasts. The reputation of the rebels, reputation of the Wakara, and off he goes. Marvelous. Now, hopefully that's the last guy. There's nobody left out there who will come to Okara. All right, then we will have to make do with the people we've got. It'll all work out somehow. Thanks for your help. And we leveled up, and that was the last guy. Thank Enos, and Beliar, and Adonis. Speaking of people, Rakus the Fire Mage wants to join you. Great. A mage is just what we need. We'll certainly give him a hearty welcome. Very well done, my friend. Well, he's not very good, but I guess you're not too picky. Tell me more about the Weapons Forge. This is where we make most of the weapons that the rebels need to fight the orcs. Our iron mine provides the raw materials we need. It's nothing like the magic ore mines of Nordmar, but still enough to make the orcs take an interest. We need to be careful. Is there anything you need? Hmm, I still need some iron ore. About five pieces. Can you get it for me? That's all? We got a whole bunch of them. Here you go. Five pieces of iron ore. Thanks. You've done enough for me now, my friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. 2,000 gold pieces. Excellent. Show me your weapons. Let's sell some stuff. He's got 14,000 pieces of gold. And... Do we have Ruby Blade? Let me actually double check real quick. Because I believe Ruby Blade is required for a blueprint later on. In fact, I might not buy it, but we'll just check while I'm here. No, we don't have it. We do not. Oh well. Let's talk to him again. Show me your weapons. Anything else I might want to buy from you, though? We don't need his crossbow. 
Yeah, nothing else here. Let's just sell some stuff. All this. Um, keep the pickaxe, I suppose. No, I suppose we need that to prospect. Light staff. Nope, that's a bit too much there. Just trying to be careful here. That's a bit too many wep uh, work weapons for him right there. Just trying to even this out a little bit. There we go. We're getting some money. I wonder if we can go ahead and buy a better piece of armor or just stick with what we have. Should we spend any skill points? We got 42. I don't know how high strength is like I don't know what's what's a good stopping point for that because we kind of have all the skills we need. Uh, let's go back and talk to him. So, teach me something about being a smith. Let's go ahead and learn this. How can I use heavy armor properly? Most people make the mistake of not putting their armor on properly. All parts of the armor must be firmly connected, not so tightly that you cannot move, but tightly enough so that there are no weak spots left in the armor. That's it. That's the last. That's the last one for the smithing tree. And we got a bit of defense uh, here. It increased uh, a fair bit. And so I think next... Honestly, that might be it. I don't know of anything else I want to choose. Maybe acrobatics, because we do um, fall from high places uh, sometimes. Maybe some endurance, because we do sprint a long time. We do sprint a lot as well. And probably none to these, because I think... We don't need these two, because we get potions for those. Heat just gives us uh, armor bonus against fire and ice here, these two. It makes you immune to the effects of great cold and great heat, which affects our stamina. So maybe these? I don't know, maybe we'll learn those. I guess I'll save those just in case. That's 20 points. Um, hmm. Well, we're done with Okara. This Areas all over and done. We got 100 reputation points with them, which is pretty cool. So let's go to, I believe. Hmm. Quest for the perfect ship. Maybe we'll do. Well, once I figure out a quest to do, I'll just see you at the next point. Well, we haven't been here in a while. This is the city of Geldern. First thing I want to do is find the seven ancient rings of the alchemist, and I think I found one. Um, actually, I'm not really sure. We have a one ring here. That's just a regular ring, though. So there's seven rings. So let's go try to find them. Is there one in here? Probably not. I got a list next to me, so maybe I should just skip ahead to the point where they're at. Hello, Marius. Do you have an alchemist ring anywhere, anywhere? Ah, you do. It's right here. All right. Well, he's staring right at me, so I don't think it's a good idea to take it right in front of him. So let's try to do this, I guess. He's not seeing us. There we go. Two out of seven. So we do have one. Where's the other one? Can we actually wear it? There it is. You can see how old it is. And of course it gives you plus five to alchemy when you wear it. Okay, we got two of them. That's Marius. And the name Marius, I th I'm pretty sure I mentioned this when we first met him. Um, the name is from... Reminds me of Di Diablo 2, Marius. Not the same guy I know, just, just mentioning. I've been to the temple. And did you find a fire chalice there? I didn't see one. I find that very reassuring, my friend. May Enos protect you, stranger. If you attack the orcs in this town, we will fight by your side. It's good to know, but we're not going to do that. Ivan the unholy mercenary is dead. I found him in the north with a bunch of evil bandits. I was thinking of planning a mutiny along with him. Thank Enos I changed my mind. I bet that swine would have sold us out. Here, take a few potions. I could do with a nip myself after such a shock. And that was a while ago that I completely forgot who that guy even is. Okay, Maris. Now who else? 
Next point. Still, it can't go on like this. Hello, Renwick. I believe you have one, don't you? I think we already grabbed his... I think it was on his alchemist tables, what the guide said. Yeah, it looks like we looted him a while ago. Let's leave. Parator, do you have an alchemist ring? You do. It's right here. Let's leave, because he's looking right at us. It's a good thing about the sneaking skill. Now, I tried taking this in several parts ago while I was recording, but it didn't work out too well. I got caught and people started attacking me, so I reloaded and I just said, okay, I'm going to do a Let's Play tomorrow. and took a break that day. Alright, that's three. So we're going off to the Shaman's Quarters next, which I believe is here. Let's see if these guys, these orcs, have... The alchemist ring. I'm looking really, really closely. My eyes are really focused on. I'm assuming this is the shaman's court. Ah, hello there. There it is. Also, there's a bookshelf here. Let's read it. Here it says something about alchemy. Well, not like we need that. And oh, crap. Um, are we gonna? Let's see if we can just. Can I highlight this? No, they don't care. It's good. Oh, we need to give him uh, lumps of sulfur. We'll do this. Here you are. Five lumps of sulfur. Good. Here's a healing potion for you. And now, Scram, I'm busy. Scram, he says. Do you have anything Show to sell? Goods. He's got some gold. We'll buy these vials. We'll buy, this, buy these mana plants. We'll buy these uh, bottles of wine. And you can have these. We'll just two of those. As well as this? Nope. Too much money. That money goes over. Okay, that's a bit too much there. How much gold is this? 15,880. We are getting some money, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we got four now, I believe. Yes, we do. Alright, next area. Okay, apparently it's in here. This is a locked door next to the northern gate. Where we came from? Did we come from this area? I believe we... No, this is a different gate, I believe. Uh, from what I understand, these warriors don't do a thing to stop us, so I think we could just... Oh, right uh, we need a key. You'll have to move along. Leave me alone. You wouldn't have to know where the key is, guys, or they're not talking. Well, let's go find a different place then. Let's take a break to work out a little bit. Ah, uh, you want to lift these things if you can when you see them. Gives you a big boost of strength. Alright, back to work. Alright, this is Gunnick's house. Gunnok. We beat him up last time, a long time ago. I believe his is right here. There it is. Five. Because he doesn't really care, does he? Alright, so we got one more left in that locked building there that I have no idea where the key is. And the other one is... Right here. This is the upper level of the, of the tavern. There we go. We got six out of seven. Now I gotta figure out how to get that key. That locked door. Let's try to find it on our own. Because this is going to be a little annoying to... Uh, Edit out all this dead air. Go on the scavenger hunt for these rings that probably won't give us much. But I could use the experience. We're still far away from level 51. Level 50 is pretty high. Alright guys, you know where that key is? Is it in here? Probably not in here. Oh boy, how do I get in there? Do I use the... Because you, you need a key for sure, right? I need the right key. I had a missing key. Well, I'm gonna save. I try to use the. Stop doing magic. Oh, that's not gonna work. I was gonna try the open lock spell. Okay, I'm gonna go find the key. I'll see you there, I guess. All right, so I don't think I can open this door because the guides I'm seeing I need the right key. they say just pick the lock, but it's saying I need a key, and this is the right door. I don't know what's going on, so I'm gonna skip this quest for now and do something else. 
So next bit, we'll try to find out the secret of Mirzo, the Hashishan merchant. I believe he's right over here somewhere. Oh, some drums, some drums here. Oh, that's enough of that. Nobody's listening anyway. Lars has nothing to say. Um, because I don't know who to pickpocket for the key, and uh, I just don't know what go what's going on for that locked door. So confused. This game doesn't want me to succeed sometimes. Just want to, you know, just just want to loot, buy all this right there. Also, go ahead and sell this. How much money is this? Twenty four oh nine eight. That that right. Some of these. It's a bit too much. Okay, that should be enough. We got a lot of money now. It's good. But yeah, where is the key? I don't know. They say wait until you liberate the town, but I don't want to liberate the town, so how am I supposed to get the key? Let's not worry about that, like I said. We're going to go try to find Merzo. Merzo is the Hashishan merchant living here. And I forget where he is. Is he in here? No, that's the warehouse. This town has a lot of quests to do too. We can't even finish some of them. It's too bad. Ah, he's right here. Excellent. Find the secret of Merzo. Where do you get your artifacts? Ha ha ha, I ask you my friend. What sort of a businessman would I be if I gave away my sources? You had better mind your own affairs. Son of prying. I remember that. Go ahead and save. Do you say anything else? The answer is no. Do you have anything to steal? Just gold. I'm going to reload because I don't want to piss off the town by stealing too much. Go. Do you say anything? You'd better go now. Okay, nothing there. There's nothing in that chest either because I checked a long time ago. The last few parts. I'm pretty sure. How about up here? Is there anything up here? Do I knock him out and then cast Amnesia? Maybe there's something on him? Let's try that. I'm gonna save, not save, I'm actually gonna use... Where is it? That's Fog. Got four Amnesia scrolls. I'm gonna save. Make sure nobody's... What? I right, keep going. Keep going. Of course, an orc has to stand right outside the door as soon as we walk in. It's my bad luck. Let's save again. And here we are. All right. Oh, no, that's the way. <clears throat> now, what do you have? I don't want any trouble. No, no, don't sit down. Nameless, get up. If I can highlight them. That'd be great. I can't highlight him. I mean to pick that up either. There we go. He's got nothing, just two two knives. Well, well I'm gonna reload. I may know we're outside now, because I have to go to a cave. Which happens to be involved with Merzo's quest. But first, there's some ogres here. There's three of them. That's a bit too many. I think we can take them though. That's probably my famous last words, but let's try. Okay, we didn't even hit it. It's a big target, I even hit it. Come on. There we go. Move back. Let's see if we can take out one. Uh, I don't think we can. This is going to be a little annoying. I'm probably going to cheese this a little bit. Because I'm going to run like like the wind. Because I want to see if I can... Oh no. Come on, man. Blood fly. Not really cheesing. This is an effective strategy. There we go. One's down, so I'm not fighting this monstrosity one on one. That was effective. Let's try that again. Healing plant. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. We got. Where'd the other ogre go? Oh, whatever. Let's just shoot this big lug. There's the, there's the other ones hiding behind the trees. 
Now, can I kill this ogre before he gets to us? I do not know. I probably should have... Oh, yep, I should have ran. Didn't do much damage. There we go. Bit sloppy, but it works. Now, let's try to... Ah, God. I don't like getting hit by these things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, just... Run! Nameless. Oh, boy. Drink a potion. Let's go ahead and run as far as we can. So I'm going to use my crossbow, which I should have done the first time. There we go. A bit sloppy, but oh well. See some food. You know, the crossbow is actually serving us pretty well. I know I already said that, but... Hey, it works. Do we pick up all their morning stars? Yeah, three of them. I'll go ahead and save. Let's go find that cave. Hey, save cave, that rhymed. Wish I can do that all the time. Sunweed. I'll grab these just because I like grabbing them. Ah, a campfire with some skeletons. There's a lot of skeletons in this game, just all around the world. In the overworld and caves. I mean, it makes sense since there was a war here. Magic or blank. That's cool. A r magical ring that gives us mana. Healing plants. And if I could find that cave, that, that'd be great. It says it's somewhere around here. I believe. Ah, there's a chest here and a skeleton who was oh so close to opening it. Well, we'll finish his job. There's not a whole lot in there. Oh well. I didn't mean to step on bone on his bones to open that chest. I mean the game, there's just no other choice. Here we are. This is the cave. I hope there's a lot of magical ore in here. Or even just iron ore. We got rain weed. We don't need that. We got a chest here. Eh, not a whole lot in there. We'll take it though. Just run in here like a maniac. Alright, we got gold veins. I'll loot these later. There's a golem over here. What are you doing? Thankfully not an ice golem, just a golem golem. Oh, that at you. Just keep clicking away, because we'll get him up against the wall. Ah, flawless victory. 400 experience and heart of a stone golem. I'll loot all these veins later. I'm going to do it, like, all in one go and just... Um, have it sort of be a little montage, I guess. I think that'll save some time. There's a guy here. Looks like an Hashishan. I guess that was his golem back there. How you doing? Mazen. What are you doing digging around here alone? Damn, it must be somewhere. You're a Hashishan, right? Yes, and... Is that so unusual? Just watch out. If you touch a hair on my head, I'll tell my brother. Tattletale? What are you looking for? Artifacts, you lunatic. What else? Beat it! I'll be beating something in a minute if you keep talking to me like that. Is your brother called Mirzo? I see you've already had the pleasure of meeting him. Then you also know what will happen if you bother me while I work. Oh, is that it? Well, we found a secret, I guess. So let's save and see uh, about pocketing uh, him. Just gold. Well, all right. So let's explore the cave a little bit. I think it'd be a good time to go ahead and loot all these ore veins. Gold veins, magical ore veins. 
What's in here? Well, we can use the water. Anything else? Uh, looks like that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save, just in case he gets mad at me taking these veins. We'll start with this one. So far, he's not getting mad. Magical ore. Can always use those. I don't know how much we have, by the way. I forgot. We exchanged a lot back in Nordmar. It's not like we're making a lot of magical ore weapons or anything like that. But we currently have 45. That's still quite a bit. We traded like 150 last time. Back in Nordmar, of course. Okay, I think there's just one more, so no reason to just skip ahead, I believe. It's this one. Here we go. Got a lot of gold nuggets. We got 93. Huh. It's weird how it goes down like that. I wasn't pressing... I wasn't uh, scrolling down with the mouse wheel. But either way, I think that's the last ore vein. So let's go ahead and back to... Hold on a second. There's something here. King Sorrow. I'm glad I... I'm glad my eye picked that up. I almost teleported back to uh, where the guy was. But either way, let's go back to Mirza real quick. You let your own brother Mazin dig up artifacts in the abandoned mine. Uh, how in Belgar's name did you find out about that? The poor devil is digging his hands raw out there so that you can make a profit here. Psst, not so loud. You don't have to let everyone know. I'll pay you a pretty sum if you keep it to yourself. Here, take this, my friend. The orcs mustn't know that the abandoned mine to the north is productive again. If they find out, they will reoccupy the mine. Then I will be ruined. Tell the orcs about the abandoned mine in the north. We could do that. They probably will. What are you looking at? I'm just talking to Mirza. It's not like I'm stealing stuff. I mean, we were, but that's that's beside the point. Okay, let's go to... No, we're not going to do that. That's liberation. Go to Gildur and convince the humans there to fight your side. So we could go talk to Torn. He's outside of town somewhere. Find the Orcs Druid search party. For some reason, the mouse wheel wouldn't work. You have to click on the box here and then it'll work. The mouse wheel. Balak leads the search in the north. Go and see what they're doing there. Be quick about it. I guess we'll talk to him later. Discover the secret of the druid Runak. There's a lot of these quests like I worry about completing them and being locked out of joining I guess. I don't know. Let's talk to him. Zardis sent me. I'm supposed to find out how your search for the divine artifacts is going. Is that so? Well, naturally, the shamans are the ones with an overview of our excavations. Naturally. We can tell him about the abandoned mine, and we'll do that later. And I'll probably uh, leave that alone, too. That one guy is uh, having his slaves dig for something, I guess. Shamans here, just regular shamans. No names, no nothing. Let's see what's going on here. There's Grok. I think we gotta talk to him. No, nothing here. So I imagine if you're joining the orcs, give the fire chalices to Grok, or we give it to Zardas. Tell the orcs about the abandoned mine in the north. I think I'll just tell the orcs, it'll help them out. The abandoned mine is still productive after all. How do you know that? Mirzo the Hashishin gets his artifacts from there. Not anymore. I'll put the mine back into operation. 
very good work. Here is your reward. You earned it. Nice. Now we got 90 reputation with Gildern. Parator the Alchemist has ordered the slave Hamel to steal artifacts. Ah, uh, yes. Parator and Hamel, you say. That's good to know. I'll make the necessary arrangements to put a stop to it. Good work. Carry on. Alright. And that wasn't a quest, but we're slowly but surely um, getting through all this. There's a lot of quests in this town that I would very much enjoy finishing. You bastard! You told the orcs about the abandoned mine! Admit it! You'll pay for this! Your final hour has come! Oh well, yeah, well... Take your swords, or knives rather. Anything else? To be had there. Do you still attack me when you get up? May have to kill him. Not like he offers anything. So it's probably wise to just go ahead and finish the quest. Come on, Merzo, get up. Are you still going to fight me when you get up? I hope not. I'll just stand by the fire until you're ready. I shall win the next fight. Well, that's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, next is... I think we'll go talk to... Torn? forget where he is, but once I see him, I'll see you there. Nope, found some snappers. Well, I found one snapper. There's no one over there as well. Way over there. Come on. I like the design to these creatures, these little snappers. I think I like him better in Gothic 1 and 2 though. Which is kind of a common thing as to what I'm saying. Okay, two of those. Got those. Healing plant here. And I believe, yep, I was right. The Druid Torn is right outside of town to the south. Dangerously close to town too. That's the placement of these areas is kind of kind of strange. Alright, Druid. Let's talk to him. Okay, what do we choose first? The orcs believe that you destroyed a farm near Trellis. And they're damn right. I did. Humans like those farmers who work for the orcs only make things worse for everyone. I can't stand by and watch while humans let themselves be enslaved just to extend their miserable existence. Better dead than a lackey of that brood of Beliar. I won't rest until the seed of evil has vanished from our woods. The uh... The harsh. Finished a quest though, that's good. The humans in Geldern trust me. The Fire Mage Marius helped me. Good. If that is so, I will give you my druid stone. May the power of the Snapper aid you in the battle against the Orcs, Decider. Not oh, convenient, we just slayed some Snappers earlier. Got a lot of reputation with the Rangers. You can also learn some stuff. Ah, oh, make me an inexhaustible runner. Let's just choose that in a minute. Would you teach me how to fight? Show me your goods. If anything to, uh, for me to buy. Got some ranger's clothes here for only 25,000 gold. I'm not going to buy it though. So I think our Nordmarian armor is better. Druid robe and ranger's clothes. How much gold do you have? 13,566. See if we can get a lot from these. Those are bolts. This is arrows. I have these fire arrows as well. Um, this as well. That. That. And that. All that. All of these. That. 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 Okay, do we sell anything by accident? Sometimes kind of a common thing in games, accidentally selling things you don't want to sell. Okay, it looks like we are good. I want to keep at least one bow just in case. And it might be a good idea to keep arrows as well. Let's get some money. We got almost 300,000 gold pieces. There we go. Any more rangers to talk to here? I think when I first, not think, I know for sure, when I first played this, I bought uh, rangers clothes. 
um, my first piece of armor that I bought. But we're not going to buy any because we're not joining the Rangers. Just going to wear this orc armor. We're doing fine with it. So let's check out some extra quests here. I'm going to wrap up in a, in a few seconds. Ah, uh, okay. Runak. Find the Orcs Druid search party. We gotta do that next time. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. And when I come back, when we come back, more quests in Mortana. Wrapping up quests in Gildurn. Quests in other towns. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Farewell. <laughs>